while The Sims 4 is busy trying to reach that 100th DLC milestone. You got this, girl. We have Paralives out there in the distance, slowly building her army. There is that game with the crazy K-pop fans. Do you know what I'm talking about? And then there is Viva Land. A sleeper hit, perhaps. This video is not sponsored by Viva Land. And if you're new here, I do not accept money or gifts in exchange for giving you my honest opinion about video games. No shade though, but the other girlies out there, do you? Get your bag. The morally corrupt. The morally corrupt. Viva Land is supposed to come out in early access this year, so I wanted to start by just taking a look at a free demo of the game that is available on Steam. It's called Viva Land Dream House, and it just shows off the game's build and buy tools. I'm not really a builder, I don't really care. So we'll get a bit more into Viva Land in a second, but let's start by just checking out this demo. I really wanted to test the limits of the game's build tools. I'm not much of a builder myself, but I thought I would try to make something tasteful yet impressive i really like how you can change anything at any time so if you make a mistake when you're building you can just like click on the wall and change it like for example i can make this straight wall a little bit curved with the click of a button they also added this glass walls feature recently. I didn't decorate or anything. I was exhausted at this point. I accomplished what I came to accomplish. And overall, I was really impressed with the sheer girth. I mean, length. I mean, I mean the amount of tools available to use. Oh, and in case you're wondering, it is to scale. What in the hell? You're gonna love my nuts. Although it may appear to be the case, I've been trying to do one pull up for every Sims 4 DLC. Somehow, the number just keeps getting bigger. I'm actually not a crazy person. Okay. Uh, therefore, my favorite part of a live sim is not building and decorating and making characters, but the actual living parts. But sadly, there's no actual gameplay in the Viva Land demo. So I went over to Viva Land social channels to get a closer look. I love this video that showed off some cooking animations and gave a detailed look at some food. I did hear that they show off more gameplay stuff over on their Patreon. I wasn't about to do all that now. So then I checked out this Q&A. A lot of juicy stuff here. Will there be cars? Will there be a gibberish language? Which, uh, lift like a What happens when someone locks off what happens to their character? Will we be able to have kids in the game? Grow old? Die? How was the process of designing the game and what were your favorite part about Viva Land? They do plan to release early access this year, but it sounds like it'll be a limited version of the game. And as far as I'm aware, there won't be any life stages during early access. The early access itself. It's a limited version of the game where you can test all the core mechanics, personality system, traits, relationship interactions. But that being said, you'll still be able to play around with characters, test out traits, play around with relationships. And it sounds like there will also be active careers at some point and you will be able to try out several active careers as well but i do want to address one thing and i've heard a lot of people say they're skeptical of viva land because its main feature i guess is that it's multiplayer and i understand that completely because i'm not really interested in having multiplayer in a live sim either but in case there is any confusion the multiplayer is completely optional you can play entirely solo so don't let that turn you away from viva land However, since one of the main features is multiplayer, I'm curious if people who choose to play Viva Land in single player mode will feel like they're missing out on something. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But all that being said, the way they plan to implement multiplayer actually seems really cool. Just listening to them talk about this and all the thought they put into it, I was really impressed. So I guess I'm not completely closed off to the idea of playing around with Viva Land's multiplayer functionalities. So so I know I've mentioned before that I'm not a fan of early access as a concept. As a player, I just prefer having a finished product in front of me. But when it comes to small studios and indie developers, I'm obviously much more open to the idea. All in all, it sounds like they have quite a bit of work to do, but as the gate, ah oh, shit. But uh, as the great Casey Musgraves once said, I'm all right with the slow burn. And uh, it seems like this game has a lot of potential. While we're talking about potential, I actually feel like I need to apologize directly to the Viva Land peoples out there because they actually sent me an email like back in February, basically asking me if I would showcase 
the demo that I just showed you on my channel. But in the email, they said something like, this game was made by Sims 4 Modders. <laughs> and that and uh that just like turned me off so bad like immediately went flaccid <laughs> and look i know a lot of people think i'm a sims 4 hater but i more so hate ea and what they've done with the franchise but i've said it before on this channel as a standalone game i don't think the sims 4 is a bad game it's no comparison to the previous sims games but on its own it's not bad and I do not hate the game. And um, anyway, that was a tangent, but my point is that part of the email from the VivaLand people turned me off and made me think this game was gonna be a Sims 4 copy. And obviously, as you can see from this video today, that I have completely been proven wrong. And in my opinion, this game looks really solid. So I never responded to the VivaLand people and I'm sorry, I didn't give you the time of day, VivaLand people. And I'm gonna cry, I think. I I owe you the biggest apology. I really do. And a few more things I noticed in my investigations. You might want to know more about who is behind this game. Vivalin is being published by Hype Train. This is a relatively new company headquartered in Cyprus. It was founded in 2015. It's quite small. It has like fewer than 50 employees. But the developer is Hive 5. It is based in Hungary on the quite small side. And as far as I'm aware, the developer's sole focus is Vivalin. They aren't working on any other games at the moment. And the man in charge is Adam Fullop. He's actually sort of famous in the Sims community because he made the Sims 4 multiplayer mod, which was apparently officially recognized by EA. So that mod was not a flop. <laughs> I'm truly sorry, it just came out. It was super popular, actually, and according to his LinkedIn, Vivaland has been in development since November 2021. I feel like that's really recent. I thought it was around longer than that. I don't know if I would call Vivaland an indie game, but I would say it's definitely on the smaller side. They don't have the funding that big budget games like The Sims and Inzoi have, but overall, I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far, and I'm eagerly awaiting early access. I guess I sort of want to end things by saying, I have a lot of faith in these smaller studios and indie games, not just because I feel like they're delivering a game with the passion behind it, but also I'm not worried about them just making a game with the goal of taking financial advantage of players. But that is why I levy a lot more criticism toward games like The Sims and Inzoi, because they're made by huge companies and in my eyes, they, of course they offer different things, but they're one and the same, you know? If you want to support VivaLand, be sure to check out their Patreon and wishlist the game on Steam. Uh, let me know what you think about the game, if you have any reservations about it, I would love to hear that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And actually, some of the OG fans might know, I used to play The Sims 4 on this channel. Yes, isn't that crazy? I really used to be so basic.